So the month of May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, a time to celebrate and reflect on the many cultures in that region. That's right. And today we thought we'd focus a bit more specifically on a part of Japanese cuisine that you probably know of but may not be very familiar with. We're talking about sake and our resident foodie. Michelle Oliver is in studio with a sake expert. Michelle, what do you guys have going on? Yes, I am here with Hajime Sato, the executive chef and owner of Sozai in Klaassen. He is also a certified sake, sake advisor. advisor. Yes. Thank you for helping with that title. <laughs> and a James Beard finalist, hopefully winner. We'll find out in June. And as I mentioned, like I said, the sake expert. So welcome to the show. Uh, thank you for having me to Thanks. drink sake in the morning. That's awesome. I know, right? What a fun way to kick off the morning. So let's get into it. Sake, I think a lot of people probably think of it as a Japanese rice wine, but what is it really? So that is the uh, misconception that people have, right? Mm -hmm. So the wine is basically um, grape as a sugar. You put the yeast in and yay, there's alcohol. But this one, it's a grain, rice is a grain, right? Mm -hmm. And a starch and that we put the uh, um, this mold called koji to break it down mm -hmm. to the sugar, then you put the yeast in, kind of like a beer. So it's a brewing process, it's not wine making process. I don't know if that makes sense. No, it does. So yeah, the process of making it is much closer to making beer than it is wine, but it's a little higher alcohol content, correct? Right, but uh, so many people think it's maybe it's distilled to the point and maybe like whiskey or vodka, anything yeah. like that. No, it's not. It's about 15%. So it's kind of like wine is about like a 12, 13, right? So maybe that's why people think it's a wine, but it's not. But it's not, right, exactly. Right. So let's talk about, um, you have another misconception you were telling me about that people are just supposed to that people drink it warm and they just chug it. Is that not how you're supposed to drink it? As well, I can tell by all the accoutrements we have. Um, <laughs> I hope nobody's chugging anything to start with. Yes. You know what I mean? So that's that. But the, uh, so you said warm, but warm sake is actually not that bad. Hot sake is not good. Okay. So there's a temperature difference, right? Yes. So imagine if you're really hot, like chugging it, and those are the sake that's um, made really badly, usually, mm -hmm. and that uh, you basically heat it up to the point you chug it so that you don't taste anything. I mean, that's really bad, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you know, you're not in college anymore, so don't do that, right? Exactly. <laughs> so let's get into the actual temperatures, and I've asked Tati and Jody to join me, so I'm gonna move over here. Oh, okay. But there's different, there's different temperatures sake is supposed to be served at, so let's talk about the first, uh, first one. What, what so would you it's gonna be really chilled. Uh, this is the sake that the, uh, um, the rice grown in United States okay. and made in Oregon. So this is like an American made sake. Oh, yeah. very cool. And it's cool. chilled, it's really, really refined sake. So I'm gonna pour this one, it's really chilled. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Interesting, Ooh. so why do you serve the sake in different vessels? We so a different vessel different actually way. has a different mouthfeel at the time that the, uh, you put in the mouth and, thank you. I'm gonna pass this out Michelle's to you like, ladies. Pass them out, pass them yeah, out. Yeah, you guys all get to try it. So Thank what you. should we do before we actually sip it? So, don't chug it. Okay. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you will or anything like that, but you know, it's a warning too. Yeah. So um, uh, first of all, smell it. You can actually smell it from here too. Oh smells yeah. Lovely. Right, Ooh, right, fragrant. just like wine. And you don't have to spit it out or anything, but make sure that the uh, you smell it first, have a sip, on your tongue, it you just smells, swirl it a little bit. It almost smells fruity. Right, it does smell right. a little I like, like citrusy or fruity. What's up with right. Me? I guess everyone smells. But like this is just Ooh. rice. It's Ooh. not infused with anything. Uh, Isn't that crazy? Not taste like That's any rice the best I've ever sake had. I've ever tried. Ah. Ever. Excellent. Right? It's <laughs> really smooth, and it didn't right. make me go like. Ooh. That, yes, that, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean that. That's that. Thank you. Why yes. do exactly. we taste fruit? I'm, I'm going to have a little more. Uh, different kind of rice. Different, different kind, kind of yeast. Right. right, exactly. Right? Kind, like a, kind like a wine in terms of like a, if you get into it, region. What kind of rice, what kind of yeast they use, how they make it, makes a huge difference on so many different kind of sake. So let's do, we have time for one more. Let's do this cool one because it like changes color. Okay, or, so this is the uh, cloudy one. This is okay. so cool. Right? I can't get over this. So we're doing a different kind of vessel for this because? Uh, this one, yeah. So this one, uh, I'm gonna just kind of pour it in because you can see it. Mm. And this is also a cold sake. Yeah, this is a cold sake. So there's a warm so the sake warm also, but yep. Go in these special vessels yep. over there. Yep. 
So if you can. All right, we'll pass yep. this one out. This one. I just want to show because I've never seen like a cloudy sake oh, before. So yeah, this right. is the sake Look that's that. the rice mush is there and put it back mm. in so that oh. the uh, you are actually tasting Good. the rice. This one almost smells more sour, oh. I'd say. It does have less fruity smelling. I like this. You like Ooh. that? Excellent. I do like this. It's got a more nice. body to it, no? Yes. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Uh -huh. More body, yeah. Uh -huh. Right. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> he's like, yes. I'm like, yes. But even a sake has so wow. many different kinds. Nice. Yeah, right? this is amazing. So it's that's delicious. how like even sake tasting or sake pairing comes in. Yeah. Right? Am I gonna be drunk? Yeah, let me chill because no, I have a whole day of work to do. It's all good. It's okay. all good. Okay. It, it's, about, it's, about, it's like a wine. It's like a wine in terms Why of Why couldn't this be Friday? I don't know. I'm warm like okay, everywhere. I'll be back on Friday today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Uh, we have to go, but can you let us know where they can find Sozai and taste your amazing sake paired with your sushi and everything else you serve? Uh, so, um, my restaurant, uh, Sozai, it's in a closet. Mm -hmm. uh, Closen is really small. Probably you can find me. Uh, it's in 14 <laughs> miles. <laughs> yeah. 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 14 miles. Exactly. 14 mile and what? 14 mile and the close to uh, Livernois. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm there all the time. Okay. And if Thank you like you to uh, sit at the bar and do the sake tasting and mm -hmm. do the omakase, which is the uh, chef's choice dinner, to go with it, uh -huh. we gotta do I'm this. there. We have Perfect. to do yeah. this. I'm, I'm telling you, this is awesome. Yeah. Well, cheers. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you. On out Wednesday. Yes. All We're right. going to try the new warm sake. Yeah.